Hello guys, welcome back to another movie review. Today I'm reviewing the movie The Lullaby. Now, this is a horror movie that was released on March 1st, 2018 and received positive reviews with critics and audiences. It has a 4.8 out of 10 on IMDb, a 64% on Rotten Tomatoes, only a 54% on Google, uh, but audience members uh, gave it an 88% from the theaters. And this was directed by Daryl Root and written by Taryn Tennille Prislow. And it stars Green Swart, Taddy Curtin, Dorothy Gold, and Brandon Arrett. And the centers around uh, the main character who uh, has a newborn baby and she is uh, stressed out, distraught over um, not only uh, from her past, but because with the baby's crying and all this, uh, she gets real stressed out. She starts seeing things and her doctor um, diagnoses her with the baby blues. But is it the baby blues? Or is she really seeing these things? Well, that's for everyone to interpret. But I love this movie. Um, it's not uh, flawless by any means. But this is a solid horror film. Like I said, it came out this year in March. So, um, uh, don't really know the actors and actresses in this movie. But nonetheless, this is a really good, solid horror movie. I don't want to give up too much else away because I want you to watch it. But it is a good one. I definitely recommend you watch this movie. Um, the positives. I, I love the special effects. I love the characters. Uh, the story. The direction. Um, one negative I have for this movie is, is the sound. The, the sound is so light, I have to crank up my TV just to hear what they're saying. They're always whispering uh, in these movies. And this is with high definition. It's just, it's, they talk so quiet. And it gets to be annoying after a while. Sometimes it makes me not even want to watch the movie. But uh, I got through it, and I enjoyed it. But um, no matter how limited your budget is, you got to make sure the sound quality is there. Uh, even if it's uh, the most expensive of your budget, you got to have good sound. I, I just, I couldn't hardly hear anything. Uh, that's the one main negative I had. Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot uh, that I see that's wrong with this movie. Uh, so to me, the lullaby gets an 8 out of 10. I was flirting with a 9 out of 10, but the sound, um, or lack thereof, really drove me nuts. So I had to knock off a couple points for that. But overall, this is really enjoyable. If you're looking for something new to watch that you haven't seen, by all means, check out The Lullaby. I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, other than that, in the comment section below, if you have seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions on it. And... Uh, let me know what is your favorite horror movie from 2018. Because a lot of people would probably say The Quiet Place, or A Quiet Place, uh, or Hereditary. It's getting a lot. I haven't seen Hereditary yet. So for me right now, A Quiet Place has a distinction. But we'll see. Um, if you like this review, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And let's talk about movies. I am the biggest horror fan. One of the biggest. I've seen so many that I basically lost count. But yeah, definitely check out the lullaby. You'll definitely enjoy it. And other than that, I thank you guys for watching this movie review. If you're looking for another movie to watch, check out Tag. That is a freaking hilarious movie. It is my favorite comedy of 2018. And probably one of my favorites in the last couple of years. So other than that, I thank you for watching. And check you later.